Well, welcome back. Last time when I was making the pen for the pen swap, I wound up with a blank with purple heart, and when I cut it, it turned not quite purple anymore. It turned kind of gray. So we talked about using some ultraviolet LED strips, and this is the project about them. It turned out kind of ugly. I call it Rankin Purple. So I started out with an 8 inch square piece of foam core board, mounted a CPU fan from an old computer in it, added some feet with some hot glue, added a bit more hot glue, and even more hot glue, mounted the cylinder onto the top after it was formed together. Punched a couple of holes through to one wires and powered it up. I fashioned a little wire hook hanging from a pencil, and I hang the workpiece off of that right inside the middle of the cylinder. Well, I don't have a full piece of the foam core board left, but here's a little piece we can demonstrate what happened with it. On one side I mark one inch lines separating the length of it, and then I put a, a line about an inch in from the end. I started off with an 8 by 20 piece, and that gave me 20 different segments that I could put lights in and the lights are cut at six inches so it spaces them about an inch in at each end. So anyway what you want to do is take one side and we're just going to scribe some lines across here and we only want to go through the the top edge of the paper. Okay, so now we've scored one side. Now we can just take it, turn it over, now we've got something that we can form into whatever kind of a cylinder shape we want. After we get to that point, I would go around, and you want to make sure that these are all oriented in the same direction, and I just bring it up to this line here. I about center it inside of each one of those. Okay. And I'd repeat and stick one of those on each one of those segments. And then we'll be ready to wire up. Alright, so we're going to want to tin the wires that we use for this. You can use any wires. I pulled these off of a little power supply. I like to get just a little bit of solder on the tip. Make sure it's good and clean. And then come up and heat up the wire. There we go. Let's get it to flow up on the brush of the wire. I'm going to try to do this without getting in your way too bad. There we go. Okay. You can use the helping hands, or you can set them on the edge of something so they're propped up a little bit. Whatever works. Okay. We also want to tin these little pads that are on the end. Now I'm just going to apply some heat onto them, bring the solder up. It doesn't take a whole lot, but it definitely makes it easier if you do this before trying to solder. You'll have, uh, you'll have solder on both surfaces, and then you can just apply heat and get on and off real quickly. So you line it up next to it, hit it with a little bit of heat, let off, and we'll do that one more time. And there's a couple of soldered joints. And then you just you take these over and run them to the one next to it, and then to the next to it, to the next to it. You can jump from in between if you want. Um, putting two of these wires onto one pad is a little bit tough. Um, you wind up burning your fingers a lot. So if you run one on the edge, and then one in the middle, and then one on the edge, one in the middle. You only have to mess with one wire at a time, so that makes it a bit easier. Okay, for a power supply, here's an old PC power supply. This one's kind of cool because it's got a switch right here on the back. That makes it real convenient. So in order to make this come on, you need to access the green wire, 
You're going to need a yellow wire, which is your 12 volts, and I need to find my cutters. There they are. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to cut the wire tie in the middle. So we're going to take a green wire out. We can just cut that off of there. Okay. We're going to need a yellow wire and a black wire. And this is plenty sufficient to power uh, this whole power strip. We won't use anywhere near this much power. So real quick and dirty. If you were to hook these up. yellow wire is plus 12 volts. The green wire needs to be grounded in order to <coughs> excuse me in order to turn on the power supply. So if you hook these up directly to your LED strips just like that, plugged it in and turned it on, it would work. That's about as basic as you can get. I'll do a separate video on, uh, on a little more complete conversion, but that's all you need is these three wires. Very very simple to hook up. Okay, I've gone ahead and hooked the, sub, the power supply up to the board here. I'm going to reach around and just turn the switch on. If I can find it. Oh, look at that. We've got lights. And a PC power supply is quite stable within a, a very, very small part of a volt. Um, very good power supply. You can run a lot of power off of these. Um, this would keep up with probably... Oh, three or four complete light strips so not a problem at all to keep up okay let's recap a little bit make sure that all your strips are oriented the same run all the grounds on one side and all the power on the other this is inside my light box I've got a circle with a line drawn on it and what I've done is taken a piece of purple heart turned it down into a circle and put a line so I can keep everything oriented the same each time this side here has a little bit of purple that I haven't touched. This side here is just sanded. And this side also has a little bit of finish on it so we can compare a finished surface. This is just a shellac oil based finish. Um, and this side here has nothing. So what I'm going to do is once an hour I'm going to line up my little mark on the circle. I'll take a picture from the front and the back and I'll include a little note about how long in the process it's been and then I'll do it once an hour and we'll, we'll take a comparison so we can make a chart. Well it looks like most of the coloration happens within the first hour. So far I'm liking what I see. Um, I, did, I decided to take them outside, took a look at them, and got quite a bit of purpling in there. Anyway, check in the description. I've got more information and some high-res images that you can look at. Let us know if you decide that you want to build one of these. I'd love to see what you make. Well, thank you for stopping by.